Welcome to the Flake Doctor channel. Today I'm going to be showing my Variac. You can find these on Amazon pretty cheap. This is a PZEM-021. This meter says it works from 80 volts AC to 260 volts AC, but there's a modification we can do that allows it to work down to zero volts. It's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is desolder this side of the capacitor from the board. and hook it directly to mains 120 volt. I'm gonna be showing you how I have mine wired up and the modifications that I've done to it. First thing you'll notice, I moved the power cable to the side here. Here we have the hot wire coming into the switch. From the on off switch, we have power running into the Variac. We also have this white wire that comes up and feeds the meter. That will come in and connect to this side of the capacitor and that's to power the meter directly. From the switch we have power going through the red wire into the variac and coming out off the wiper into the fuse. I moved the fuse from the primary side to the secondary side and I'll explain later why I did that. From the fuse we're coming into this pin right here and then it comes out of the meter and to the hot side of that outlet. This black wire is the Variac neutral and it ties into the neutral of the wall plug. I disconnected this meter because we don't need it. From the neutral of the output, it comes into this pin here, the load side, and it comes out the neutral here, this pin, back to the wall. So the two load pins are connected to the outlet here, and the two inner pins are connected to the neutral on the wall and from the hot coming in through the fuse from the Variac. The reason this power switch isn't here, honestly, is because I kind of melted it while I was messing around rewiring it. So I just put this one in instead. It doesn't bother me that it doesn't have the LED indicator light. The reason I moved the fuse to this side of the transformer rather than on the primary side of the transformer. If we have the secondary side of the transformer at 10 volts, as we can see here, we would be pulling 40 amps before that fuse blows. Here we have the same circuit with 10 volts on the secondary, and you see it's not able to flow any more current than the 5 amp fuse will allow. So this basically prevents us from frying our Variac, so if there's a dead short, it'll blow the fuse rather than frying the Variac. 